Welcome to another episode on the Evermore server. Woohoo! <laughs> Why am I so excited? I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, and I hope a lot of you weren't too confused at the end of the last episode that we were missing half the building. I wanted to separate it, I wanted to give you a little bit of a cliffhanger. So, yeah, today on this episode, I want to have it as packed full as many pickles as we normally do on an Evermore episode. So, what are we going to be doing? Well, first of all, I need to finish this. So, yeah. Yep, I didn't actually finish it. So, we need to finish this floor here, which I did a bit off. I did a bit of on the live stream. Uh, we want to fix this window here and possibly put another one, I think, possibly on the side there. Uh, I don't like it too much at the moment, the way we've done it. Uh, and as you can see there, it kind of just looks too basic. It doesn't look detailed enough. So, what I might do is bring it down a block. Bring it up a block so we've got a bit of a windowsill and then we are kind of put some slabs across the roof there and the window's really there just to put a bit more detail into the wall because it looked a bit plain at the end. I hope you agree with me there. Um, I really love this bridge and the way this works. I'm going to do my bridges with trapdoors for the sides more often I think. I just love the way the effect it gives where you can kind of up the detail kind of by just putting one on the inside one on the outside. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have also done on the stream in between episodes. I've kind of detailed some of this out. So we kind of crafted, I guess we did, carved the corner of this hill out here and blended that into the side. So that's all done there. What I might do is put this as a rock as well, just to signify that this is on a hard base. Um, the plan for this area was for it's for the alchemist so we need to have brewing done uh the only way to get into the top bit of the building though and i'll show you the bottom of the other side of the building in a minute is to get through this way so this is the only way to get to this part of the building i need to add some kelp in here still to get this bubble vator to work and i've been told that hay bales is a good uh idea to put down here instead of a sign block so i might try that one out thank you lelith and yeah so we've got this here not really much of a place to start brewing stuff. There's nowhere to store any of the ingredients. <laughs> I was trying to think what the ingredients were then. Uh, the nether wart and stuff like that. So if we head on up, 
This is our enchanting area, so we need to put some stuff in here to hold lapis and uh, an anvil and stuff like that. So yeah, we need to put an anvil and decorate this up a bit more. Um, have we got enough light up here? That is another thing. That could be an issue. So I might put carpets on here, kind of purple ones to kind of blend in with the walls. Because then it doesn't kind of tie in with the floor too much there, so I think that'd be better. And maybe we could possibly put a fence gate here instead. Just so that I can open it up and then fly off as I wish. Or even if I land here. Just to make it a bit more kind of works well with the, the, the storyline of using this as an entrance for flying in and out. I am rambling away. I am rambling away. What else have we got to do? I told you it was going to be action packed. And what else are we going to do? I'm going to show you down here. This is a quick way down. So we've done all this path here. This wasn't in part of the time lapse. And this is what's downstairs. So it's more of a kind of um, altar uh, ceremony room kind of. I thought that'd be quite fancy for. Oh, I've got I've got a little guest somewhere. Um, I thought that'd be kind of like ideal kind of room setting for this kind of building because obviously being an alchemist and something like that is into the kind of the, the druidy kind of stuff. Um, not real druid, fantasy druid. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we've got that. So that's all the downstairs there. And obviously we're going to carry on kind of landscaping this out. I wasn't too keen on these stairs during the live stream, but actually they're growing on me. They're growing on me. So I might add a bit more stone here. So we've got half slabs in there maybe just to kind of block that off there. Because that's my only problem with them is that they kind of blend in too much height-wise with the surrounding hillside. I want them to look like they're being carved in. And yeah, so what else are we going to do on today's episode? You will find out, like sorting out our storage. I haven't got a clue where anything goes though. And getting some much needed sleep. Because we never like being out when the sun's down, do we? AFK in all the farms to get them stocked up again. So now all that's done, I thought I'd better show you this. I thought I'd shown you, but I'm beginning to think that probably I haven't. I've looked back at the old episode, last week's episode, and I didn't put it in there. So, let me explain this from the beginning. Stu here, for those who haven't, I did this on live stream, so I haven't explained it like, on camera. This is Stu. This is Meg's rabbit. She found him just bouncing around the nether roof. I then smuggled Stu away, because Stu used to be in a dirt box by Meg's portal over there. I smuggled him away on stream one, one week and replaced Stu with... Uh, with... Um, Stu <laughs> in this cage and kind of left a message saying uh, I think something's happened to Stu or something like that, I can't remember what the message was now um, she then the other week I came in and seen that she'd bought Stu or Stu Stu or who's now going to be called Pickled Stu sorry, so that's the pig if we're keeping up with the story here, the rabbit's called Stu the zombified piglin or hoglin is Pickled Stew now, and I came and found this message. Pickled Stew made a Piggle friend. So she then brought Piggle over here. It's glad to see that you've made it to Evermore though, Piggle. So if anyone who doesn't know, Piggle is my pig. So he tends to pop up in some of my videos now. It's become a bit of a, bit of a meme. I love pigs, and Piggle's my pig. So Piggle's arrived, thanks to Meg, and she's brought him over here. So I thought, for a bit of fun this episode, just to add to the uh, the amount of stuff that I'm going to try and cram into one episode, you know, got to fill the pickle jar up. Um, we're going to kind of repay the little prank. We are going to build Stu here, so the original Stu. We're going to rename Pig Stu, Pickle Stu, I think, or Pickle Stu, I think, probably. Um, and... We're going to make Stu here uh, a hutch. So I'm going to try and quickly do that. And I'll show you what I come up with. Oh, the fun goes on. Okay, so I came in here to get some blackstone. And yet again, in a basalt delta, I am pinned by magma cubes. And I died. So I'm hoping I got all my stuff back. Because it was all around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself out of this sticky situation. And then we're going to have a look at the hutch. And here's our rabbit hutch for stew. So, it's a little bit on the big side. 
But I didn't want Meg to walk past it and not notice it. So I think it's I think it's pretty good. And there's Stu there, sitting there, nice and happy. Look, he feels quite at home, doesn't he? I know. And hopefully Meg remembers to feed you. So left her a left Meg a sign. Um, and we just wait to see if she sees it or not. So did you see it? Yep, we build another tree. And I like it. I like it. So. Pink Duck, who uh, comes onto my streams, and I tend to stream on Wednesdays. Haven't been streaming recently, but I'm hoping to pick it back up again. In fact, I'm making a channel just for streaming. So watch this space. Um, he suggested having a tree hanging over the water, and I think it, it looks good. It looks good. I need something over here, I think, but I'm not quite sure yet. I've decided that I want to put some pine trees. Where is it? I'm going to put a pine tree here. I say pine, spruce, but it's going to be a pine tree. Um, and obviously it's not going to be a normal spruce tree. It's going to be a custom one. So I think that will go here. So that will kind of block that view off there to kind of entice you around here. So we need more stuff around here. So, And I'm going to design some mushrooms as well. So I'm not sure I'm going to have those done in this episode. Possibly the next one. Although I have plans. I have plans. So we'll see at the end of this episode what the plans are. Um, what else have I got to show you? Up here, we have put the windows in. So I think they're a massive improvement to what I'd done before. So here we go there. I kind of shortened it so it's now 2 by 3 where it was 4 by 3 before, I think. Or isn't it... Might be by 4. No, it is by 3. Um, so I've put one in there. Still pretty simple, but I think it does the job. Kind of gives the look and breaks up that flat wall there. And I've put one on this side as well. I might grow some vines up the side or something like that. I'm not sure yet. I need to add something to the bottom. There's like a little bit more detail needs to be added. Or maybe even we could put um, trapdoors along here as shutters. And the sun's going down and the creepers will come out. So one thing that I should have been doing while I've uh, been playing in this little starter, starter village is lighting the place up as I went along, which I haven't. So it gets very dangerous and, of course, I have to sleep. So... I'm going to go to sleep and we'll see what happens in the next day. So, I had a sleep and I built some trees. So, I built that one there. Oh, that one's a bit close. This one here and that one there. And I really think they kind of frame the village really well. I do need to get around to doing these rocks. Um, yeah, so we've got one there, kind of blocks the view to the house. So, it entices you around to see what's around there. And these two here are really just to kind of frame the um, blacksmiths, that's what it is, and kind of tell you that this is the end of the village here. So we're going to kind of keep ourselves within the boundaries of the village here around there. Next job is to sort these paths out. And I have a little design I've been working on for some mushrooms to light up the path along the side. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to give that a go off camera and I'll show you how we get on. I'll just do probably a bit of the path around here, show you what the mushrooms look like, and then I'll probably do the rest off camera in between episodes. So I'm going to get to work, and I'll let you see what it looks like in a bit. And we're done. As I walk backwards, I don't know why. I just wanted to show you these first, though. I have managed to capture a, or capture, befriend, um, some cats. So I need some names for these. I've got three of them. There's one here, Bluey. You can rename him. Another one here, Mixy Eyes, not like Mixomatosis, so. And another one here, which is another Siamese blue-eyed cat. So I've got three cats that need uh, naming, so please leave those in the comments below. And here we are. Here's the path done, and my mushroom's in. And I think they turned out pretty well. I designed these during a timeless classic, the Titanic. We was watching that with my wife and designing these mushrooms at the same time, and I think they turned out pretty good. I've got lights underneath them here, so and the big one over here has got the end rods hanging down, so it kind of adds a bit of lighting to the path. Um, not enough to stop mob spawning, but we'll try and work on that. And I've got the glow stream underneath that one, so this one's my favourite. I do like it, I do like it. And the, yeah, the big one's pretty good as well though. I've got the little mushrooms underneath there because as you see when artists draw they tend to have you either put grass at the bottom of trees or little um, shoots coming out at the bottom just to kind of blend the uh, drawing into the scenery. So that's why the little ones are at the bottom of the, the big mushroom there and I've got the little ones there as well. So 
and I think it makes a nice welcome kind of like addition to the village and the passing as well so like I said I'm going to carry on building these off camera and I'll build a few more trees um, and finish this path going all the way up to the alchemist house and the alchemist house still needs a bit of terraforming and round the back but I'll do all that off camera it's not anything that needs to be seen so as we come to the end of another packed episode I'm going to leave you with a little time time lapse out time out lapse you know, one of those time lapses where it's the end of the episode. Um, I'm, I'm going to turn around and say this. Oh, I've had the field of view on 50. The whole of this episode. Or maybe some of it. No wonder everything seems so close. Anyway, I'm going to say I'll see you later. This time lapse coming out is uh, basically as we are drawing to a close to 1.16.5 on Evermore. Woohoo, we're going into 117. Um... I wanted to start a new project so this kind of path is leading us on to our next project um i'll see you in the next episode though ciao for now i'm walking alone the streets are empty the only thing i can see is my own silhouette i'm getting stronger Step by step, the clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town.